El Paso County will move back to safer at home level two restrictions starting on Wednesday, and that'll mean the bars must be closed. News 5 Spencer Humphrey joins us live in Colorado Springs with what bar owners say is a second round of closures and what it could mean for their businesses. Well, many bar owners I've talked to tell me they've been able to obtain licenses that allow their businesses to be classified as restaurants, and that would allow them to stay open through these restrictions. But one of those bar owners tells me they're already barely making it by, and if they did have to close, that would just be the final nail in the coffin. For Iris Martin, it was a logical next step. Really, I was a bartender, okay. and so I was working two jobs, so then I bought the bar. She's been the owner of Shots Tavern in Security Widefield for a bit now. Between 17 and 18 years. And never could she have seen a year like this one coming. We've had a lot of ups and downs, but right now this is terrible. Terrible may be an understatement. They are doing so much with what we can do, and they're regulating us so hard that it's hard to even stay afloat. She had to close for two and a half months earlier this year because even though she had a restaurant license allowing her to stay open, she was still losing money. And we're not a big corporation. We need money to come in. She knows she's far from alone. All the small bars are going through so much right now to even maintain you know, even to survive through all this stuff. The only thing keeping her afloat right now is money from her PPP loan. I've been, you know, watching it, we're watching every penny we're doing, trying to make it work for as long as we can, but it won't last forever. We have to be able to stay open. We have to. There, there's no way. And in light of the news that tightening restrictions this week will again close El Paso County bars, She's counting her blessings that she got that restaurant license. That been it. I don't even know. I'd probably cry for a while and try to figure out what was my next step. The fear of closing for good is very, very real, but she'll do everything she can to stop that from happening. Be devastated. I mean, uh, where am I going to go? Now, a reminder, those new restrictions go into effect here in El Paso County this coming Wednesday, November 4th. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Spencer Humphrey, News 5.